What's up guys, my name is Joey and you guys are watching Joey's Pokey Shop channel and um, today we're going to do something a lot different than trading card games. We are actually going to show you how to Plasti Dip your wheels. Um, I love using Plasti Dip just for the fact that it's rubber so you can peel it off whenever you're done. Like me, I lease vehicles so um, if you have a leased vehicle and it's got to get turned in, you uh literally just put the plastic dip on your wheels and um, when your lease is running out you just peel it off go to the car wash scrub the crap out of it get it all loose and then sit and peel it off I'm just gonna show you real quick this is what my wheels look like before and I'll show you when I'm doing it and after all right guys so I am right now in the process of dipping my wheels plastic dip so you can hear the compressor going, so I don't want to be, uh, anyway, there's my car, I got two wheels off, I take them over here to the wash area, and then this is my area I'm going to paint. So what you want to do, actually this is really good because it protects your wheels as well. You want to get inside these nooks and crannies and make sure you, I don't care if you got to finger it all ten times, around every edge is where the plasti dip is going to hold the most. So, center cap, you don't have to worry, take it out. You don't want to do that. This will peel right off because it's rubber. So it's not necessarily going to stick to the rubber. So that's one wheel ready. That's my second wheel is almost ready. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the plasti dip. Jesse's on the swing set and I have to keep running up and down. You want to shake your can really good. All right, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do around the edge. All the edges. Just hit whatever edge. guys so after you're all done you sprayed the plasti dip on your wheels my wheels look like this I think they look a lot better than they did silver or alloy I should say so if you want to take it the next step further which the Walmart I went to didn't have the glossifier you after you spray the black on it you basically clear coat them with the glossifier and it adds another layer of protection so right now um, I would say I use three cans for four wheels actually I could have stuck with two cans for four wheels. Two wheels is one can. Um, you get definitely plenty enough out of two cans. I have an extra half a can left over because I just sprayed the crap out of all of them. I want to make sure they had enough on them since I'm not using the Glossifier. So yeah, I'm going to throw them back on and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. Alright guys, all said and done, I think it looks a lot better with the black wheels. Definitely. With just the chrome accents. It highlights the car a little better. I think, oh no, I got the black and chrome grill. Yeah, definitely. Tomorrow, oh, one last thing. I use a Craftsman 24 volt, I think it's 23 volt or whatever it is, um, electric impact that's what it electric it's a battery operated impact gun um also when you're done like i use that or if you use an air gun always make sure to torque your wheels to spec um i don't know what mine were but i put them at 120 i'm sure that's 120 is definitely enough i'm sure it's probably only like 100 110 120 25 130 is max Unless you got like a bigger truck. Even most of the time, like my dad's truck over there, his truck only goes for like 120. So, um, yeah, definitely make sure you torque your wheels because you don't want them falling off. But 
I thought about it, and I said, you know what, you could put newspaper behind the wheel if you're going to spray just everything, lug nut, center cap, everything. But if you want to do it right, just take the wheel off. I think it looks ten times better. Ten times. Hundred times better.